Hey guys, welcome to Coding After Dirty. In this video, I am going to show you how to set up an API, which you could use to power your front end application. The cool part, we're going to use an application called Strapi, which allows you to set up an API in less than five minutes. So if you're learning to code and you're looking to take your front end application and make something awesome by having a back end that you could easily set up all by yourself, this is the video for you. Now, if you're just joining this channel, my name is Paul and every Tuesday night, I do a live stream where I'm coding my portfolio project. So I wanted to make a video where I could make videos to complement that live stream. So this way you have a resource to look things up if you get lost. But with that being said, you could also use this as a standalone video to learn something about new technology. So what is Strapi and why should you use it? The cool part about Strapi is that it allows you to design an API and manage content all in the same place. It has an amazing UI that you could use. So this allows you to save time, not needing to build your backend from scratch. Now just imagine, to create a backend may take a team over 10,000 hours to create or however long it takes you because you have to take into consideration security and making sure it works, make sure that you're removing all the bugs and making sure that you're able to deploy to production. So what Strapi allows you to do is save time because you don't have to recreate those features yourself. And the awesome part about Strapi that it's fully customizable, which allows you to add any additional behavior that you like either via plugins or overriding existing controllers, services, or policies. And again, I know it sounds like it's a lot, just know this, starting out, you could start very quickly and easily. But if you do need to add additional functionality, it allows you to do so as well. Before jumping into the setup, I just wanna show you an application that I'm building on my stream. We're building a team manager. So it's still early on in our development, but what's cool, Strapi allows you to have authentication right from the start. So I could go ahead and log in. And as you could see here, we have our teams. This is work in progress, but just what I wanna show you, we're able to create a team. We are able to edit a team. We're able to delete the team and we're able to log out. So as you could see, we are able to set up a quick API with full CRUD functionality, which is awesome, which allows me to focus more on my front end development rather than being bucked down with the back end. So let's go ahead and set up Strapi now. The first thing you need to do is go to strapi.io and you're going to come to their main page. You could copy this to your clipboard because we're gonna use this in our terminal, but you could get more information by clicking get started and seeing the details. Now, before we continue, you have to make sure that you have NPM installed and you're using version 14 at the moment. So let's go to our terminal and we're going to copy and paste that command that we just copied. And it's going to do its thing and it's gonna start downloading all the information. And what we wanna do for this tutorial, we're gonna just choose the quick start. It's gonna make things nice and easy and it will set up SQLite for our database, which we could change when we decide to deploy our application. Now we're gonna give it some time to go ahead and finish the installation process. Once it installs successfully, it will go ahead, build the application and start it right up for you. What you will do is add your information to set everything up. And that's it, you installed your API and you're running it on your local computer. What we could go ahead now is just set up a quick test to make sure that we're able to get the data. So we're going to go to our content type builder and we're going to create a new collection type and we're just going to call it posts. Click continue. And once we're here, we're just going to create a title, keep it a short text, click another field and let's create text again. And we're going to call it long text and we're going to call this description and click finish and save. So now we created our first content type for posts, which will be a title and a description. We could go to our content manager, click create new entry. We're going to say first post and we did it. And we're going to click save and we're gonna make sure we publish. And let's go ahead and create another post. Create new entry, second post, yay. You can tell I'm super excited. Click save and publish. And now we created two posts that we could get via a get request, which I'll show you in just a moment. But before we do that, out of the box, Strapi locks down all the controllers. So you actually have to go ahead and give them permission. So you're gonna click setting. We're going to go to roles, click public. So this is for non-authenticated users, which is okay for now. We're gonna go to posts. 
we're gonna click find one which basically if we go to api post and place an id will return that one post and find many so if we go to our endpoint api post we should see all the posts let's go ahead and save so what we can do, we could actually right away go to that endpoint for API and posts. We'll return all of our posts that we have. Notice how we're getting the title and the description. We have two posts and we're also getting metadata if you want to include pagination. So we have a working API. And if I wanted to get a single post, I just have to pass that ID. So if I go posts slash one, we're going to get our single post. If I go post two, we're going to get our second post. And here you are, you have a fully working API that you could start using to build your front end application. So here we are, we did it. We set up Strapi. Obviously we did that quick and easy guide because I wanted you guys to get started. Now, where to go to next? Well, from here, what you could go ahead is you could check out the Strapi community on Discord. You could go to their blog and see some awesome tutorials that they have. You could also go into the documentation. And if you have questions, you could post them on the forum. You could also go on GitHub and literally dive into the code. If you want to see how something works, you could literally go through the code and check it out. So for instance, they have the user permissions plugin that you will learn more about eventually, but you could literally see how they do things. So if I wanted to see what their controllers looks like, I could go to controller. I want to see the auth controllers and I could look at the code. And what's awesome here, Maybe right now you might not understand everything, but the cool thing is you have access to the code because it's open source and you have access to the awesome community. You could also ask me questions in the comments and I'm gonna make a series of videos. So in the next video, we're gonna focus on REST and how you could make post, get and patch and delete request using Postman to our Strap PI that we just created. And that will prepare you to be able to utilize your API in any front-end application that you like. You could follow me on my Tuesday night streams where I'm building my application that you saw earlier. And that's a nice fun way to watch someone code live, ask questions and just have fun. So you're more than welcome to do that. And by the way, go subscribe to Strappy YouTube channel and their Twitter. They always share great news and great articles. With that being said, I hope you guys had as much fun as I did and I'll see you guys next time.